Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Steve Eiserman has finally done it. The Detroit Red Wings have announced today that they have called up defenseman Simone Edvinson from the AHL's Grand Rapids Griffins. Additionally, the Red Wings have placed goaltender Alex Lyon on the IR retroactive to December 16th. So, Simone Edvinson is finally up and running with the big club. Now, at the time of recording this audio, we don't actually know if he's going to be playing. This is not really confirmed. The Wings have a game later tonight at, okay, about like three hours-ish from now. Edvinson is not confirmed to being in the lineup, but there are some very interesting things that happened with the other defensemen on this team that could indicate that if you wanted to see Edvinson in, it wouldn't be too surprising. Olimata left yesterday's game in the middle of everything, and he didn't end up returning. Jake Wallman, people are speculating whether or not he is injured. Then you have other guys that are being rotated around as to whether or not they'll be scratched or whatever. Justin Hall, Jeff Petrie. There's a lot of, you know, back and forth as to whether or not some guys are going to get played or some guys are going to sit out. At the time of recording this audio, we don't really know. But that's not the point here. The point is, Simon Edvinson has finally been given his opportunity to get NHL pay, even if it's just for a little bit. Even if it's just for the small sample where an Olimata is hurt or whatever. Even if it's just for the holidays, this is a pretty big gift for a guy that has been one of the top Red Wings prospects the past few years. Going over the profile here, I think this is a great opportunity to just acknowledge where Edvinson is at in his development. Edvinson, 6'6", 216, left-handed defenseman, drafted by the Red Wings in the sixth overall spot in 2021. He was always touted as an offensively capable and really mobile, calm, defensive presence. He was taken super high in the draft for a reason, because in the SHL and the other junior leagues he had played in, he was just such a dominant beast. Not necessarily with the point production per se, but with everything else around his game. He's pristine, he's very calm, and he's super good defensively with his stick, shutting down opposition rushes. This seemed like the guy to pair perfectly as a foil to Moritz Sider. Now, you could debate whether or not it'd be effective having them on the same pairing because they play such similar styles. Maybe it would be kind of redundant to have them right there beside each other. But even if you decided to spread them out, that also would be pretty good for the defense score because having your defensively minded beasts on separate lines could definitely make things difficult for the opponent. Last season, Simone Edvinson played less than 10 games, so he didn't get his ELC moved over to that year. He only played nine games with the Red Wings, got two goals in the process, then got sent down to the AHL, had 27 points in 52 games played. This season, though, he hasn't played a single second for Detroit. He's played only in Grand Rapids with 16 points in 25 games. Now, if you do the math, he is on pace for a slightly better season points production-wise than he had last year, which is all good. It's all fine and dandy, but of course, that's not really the main thing we're focused on here, considering he is a defensively capable shutdown defenseman who could also play good offense too. This is a player who's just kind of all over the place in terms of what he is capable of doing. And now, whether he plays tonight for the Wings or not, he's going to be getting NHL salary. Wings fans have been clamoring for Simone Edvinson to get called up the entire year, pretty much. Even when you were talking about other guys, like once the Ben Chirac, Jeff Petrie thing was going down earlier on this season, everybody was trashing on them, saying that Ben Chirac was the worst defenseman on the team. Oh yeah, we need to get Simone Edvinson. Call up Edvinson right away. Anytime there's a defense an injury. Oh yeah, call up Edvinson right away. But he never got called up. Until now. Not to say that Olimata getting hurt was the best thing to happen for the team, but still. It was an unfortunate situation and the Wings had an opportunity to use this to their advantage by bringing up one of their top defenseman prospects. Now, if he doesn't end up playing tonight, then that's all right. Like, just having him on the roster, giving him NHL salary, this is going to be good for him because for the odd few days that he'll be up with the team, he's going to be making a lot more money every single day and every week. So this is a good thing for everybody involved. It's just, you know, it'd be more ideal if he actually got playing time with the regular Red Wings. Not even saying that he needs to get a whole bunch of points, but just seeing him in the winged wheel at this level, at this point in time, before the holiday break, this could be a pretty good opportunity for us to see where he is at with his game. Just check in with Edvinson and what he's capable of doing, because there is a lot of potential here, and I know Wings fans are super excited for the future. 
I mean, this is a guy who, if you wanted to take a look at the Moritz Sider path, I mean, Edvinson is in his, what is that, draft plus two year. Moritz Sider, when he was in his draft plus two year, didn't even play with the Red Wings. He was in regla in the SHL. So if you wanted to say that there was sort of a let's just say, similar timeline between Moritz Sider and Simon Edvinson, then you're right there, neck and neck, with what Moritz Sider has been doing. You may even be a little bit more advanced if you're Simon Edvinson. Edvinson played Red Wings games immediately after being drafted, albeit he only played nine, but Moritz Sider didn't have that chance. He only played in Grand Rapids that year. So, for Simon Edvinson, if everything is going down that same Moritz Sider path, Getting a cup of coffee with the regular Red Wings in this season's worth of play is actually going to be a bit more accelerated than what we had seen out of Cider. Cider became a full-time Red Wing in his draft plus three year. That's when he was the Calder guy. He was super good, 50 points, etc., etc. Simon Edvinson, if he wants to match Cider, then you're just going to have to do all that next year. But... Hey, let's focus on this year for now, right? Take it one day at a time, see what happens. If he doesn't even play today, then that's totally okay. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're a fan of the Red Wings or a fan of the Griffins, if you've been watching any of the Griffins games, let me know your thoughts in the comments as to how Edvinson has progressed this season. Is he still the big, towering, defensively responsible and offensively capable beast a ballerina on skates like we had seen him to be in the past? Is this a guy who has impressed you so far throughout this young season? And if he does play in the NHL, how well do you think he's going to be able to do? We've been talking about this guy on and off for the past few years because he's been such a great player, so I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to explore his profile once again, considering that we haven't made a video about him in a while. This is a guy that I think a lot of Red Wings fans are going to be super big fans of over the next decade and a bit. We just gotta wait and see. I think the logical explanation would be to give Edvinson the game tonight, right? I mean, if you wanted to scratch somebody, you can. If Aldemata really is out, you have that option there. I mean, of course, at the time of recording this audio, we don't know the lines, we don't know who's playing, who's not, which is kind of weird considering the game is in like three hours from now, but for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Red Wings, the Simon Edvinson development story, where you see this player going in the next few years, where you see this guy going within the next few weeks, to be honest, and if Simon Edvinson finds himself onto the Detroit Red Wings full-time next year, like Moritz Sider, do you see Edvinson exhibiting a same Calder-like year that Sider had in his rookie season? That's a loaded question. I know there's a lot to go for with that. You could debate probably not, because if you've got Sider, you've got Goss to spare already on the team, then that fulfills a lot of the offense from the defenseman that you would want to see. So... Is there really going to be an opportunity for Edvinson to do similar things like Sider did? Who really knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this entire Simon Edvinson call-up. I hope you enjoyed this British Rush 9. And, bye.